I promised you that I will make part three and a half of building the indie mill, so here it is. So in the last video about building the electronics, assembling everything, connecting it and building the case for the electronics that you can check out somewhere, somewhere here or here, I don't know. Uh, I told you that I'm going to weld a small table for a CNC machine and also finish some stuff uh, with the Indimu. So that's what we'll do today. So let's start with the Z axis. So I was really confused with how to actually make the Z axis and how to make it properly and I just end up making it the simplest possible way probably with 608 bearing and some blockers that hold the trapezoidal lead screw in place. The third blocker on the bottom of the lead screw actually protects the wool assembly from falling out and limit the movement on the z-axis and also we have two pulleys, one on the NEMA 23 stepper motor of the Z-axis and the other pulley on the trapezoidal lead screw with GT2 belt you can easily transfer movement from the stepper motor to the lead screw. I also added spindle holder, as for now without the spindle we'll add this thing later. When it comes to the table, I wanted to make it out of steel because I have a welder and I have no idea how to weld but it's really fun for me to be able to join two pieces of metal permanently and it works kind of fine, I already made three tables for my tools and they work fine so why not to make one for the indie mill and I made it out of steel that I have laying around we just cut this big thing that I'm not even sure what it is uh, with my dad with an angle grinder and then again with the angle grinder I cut it to the proper length to the part that I need to build the table After cutting it was time to clean everything with an angle grinder, the old paint just to make it easier to weld and also easier to paint later. When it comes to welding, I literally know almost nothing about welding, I'm just able to connect two pieces of metal. So instead of talking, because I don't know what to talk right there, let me just play some music and show you what I did. So the dimensions of this table are 70 by 80 by 90 centimeters and that's something that works for me. If you need something smaller or bigger just you know, just do it, build it bigger or smaller. Uh, for me and for my workshop for Indie Mill that's something that will work great. Also one small tip, I always weld four nuts on the bottom of the legs so that I can screw in a screw and that way I can easily level this table even on pretty uneven structure of floor in my workshop and it's also great if you don't have perfect length of each leg you know like usually it's off by one or two millimeters uh, so I can easily adjust it with a screw on the bottom 
It's a simple thing, but actually pretty useful. If you want to get the cut file of this table, I can't give you it because I don't have such thing. I just draw a quick design on the paper of the table that I want to build with the dimensions and based on that I build it. So sorry, but I don't have any design file. To paint this thing, I used Hammerite and that's the same paint that I used to paint in the middle parts. It's a really cool paint, I really like it. It has the hammer effect and it protects steel from rust, so it's great. The top of the table is made out of MDF 18mm thick and the dimensions are 76 by 86 mm so it's just slightly bigger than the table itself. You can say that this table is like half finished and that's true because I'm not really sure how I'm going to end up using the indie mill. What do I really need? Do I need drawers or shelves? I'm not sure at this point so I will add those things later. And as for now, I'll have just super simple clean table for indie mill. And maybe if I will have space below the indie mill, I will just simply put the Dremel CNC below the indie mill just to have all CNC station in one place. For the wasteboard of indie mill, I used the same piece of MDF that's 18 mm thick, 64 by 60 cm MDF board. It would be quite boring just as it is, so I end up cutting a stencil on my laser cutter and I spray painted, of course, with matte black spray paint, something on top of the wasteboard and it's really cool. To attach the wasteboard to the CNC machine, I had to drill some holes in the wasteboard and also disassemble the indie mill slightly in order to put the T-nuts below the aluminum profiles and then it's quite tricky to attach the wasteboard to the indie mill because you have to precisely adjust the position of the T-nut uh, in the aluminum profile but it's easy doable you just have to try a few times. After all of that I added 500 watt spindle to the indie mill and this is just a temporary solution because I already have something much bigger more powerful better for the indie mill but we'll start with 500 volt spindle just for simplicity. Power supply of the spindle went into the electronics box, I connected everything right there and attached it to the case, also the potentiometer and some long cables for the spindle. And here is the indie mill on top of the table. If you have any more questions, want to say something or you want to answer my questions, leave that all in the comments, that will be highly appreciated. Uh, don't forget to check out my Patreon and if you feel like it, support my projects. And that's it for this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, everything. Thank you very much for watching, happy making, bye.